Welcome back to What Are T Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the Object 261, the Tier 10 Soviet SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Overlord and it's under the command of the Baseman from Hell. Game on. Well, this may not, uh, may be a bit very much like in some ways the uh, Object 263 in a uh, tank destroyer way, but the Object 261, funnily enough, is the most accurate of all the artists in the game. Oh, he's just run into a convoy. Wasn't looking where he was going. It is the most accurate RT in the game, but it's also cursed with a very narrow arc of fire, only 10 degrees, which means that this vehicle does have to move quite a lot to realign on a target and that means it has to dial in quickly as well but uh, that can actually be quite a good thing it's got an 18 centimeter naval gun as its main armament capable of doing 900 alpha and 45 millimeters of penetration burst radius of 10 meters so it's actually quite um, low power compared to a 203 millimeter, which obviously you'd expect to be doing 1,050 alpha, but it has got a better fire rate than the standard 203. It's, uh, okay, he's got his first shot in, only 11 hit points on a Panzer Kampfwagen Sieben. Yeah, the fire rates, it's uh, reload time is 30.68 seconds normally, but you see base man's managed to get it down to 24.85, which obviously means that he can fire fairly quickly. In fact, for an 18 centimeter gun, it's got very much the same sort of reload time you'd normally get from a 155 millimeter howitzer. Now, it was actually originally going to be built on the hull of an IS-7, well, they cancelled the project, I'm afraid. It never went ahead. There was three Object 261s originally um, designed. The first one was with a 152mm gun, and that was going to be a closed cabin one, more like an ISU-152, but based on the IS-7 hull. And the second one, the 2612, was going to be an opened-top vehicle, much like this one but also with a 152mm gun. That one went shallow. And the last one was the one you're watching now, which is with a 180mm gun and an open cabin. Now the trajectory on this RT is very low. And if Wargaming were to bring about the changes that they're suggesting they're going to do and put in the new shells, this would drastically affect the Object 261. Because it's already got a very flat trajectory, but if you make it even flatter for the special shells and the armor piercing, then I'm afraid what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, some shells just won't reach the target. You won't be able to shoot over objects at all, and some parts of the topography will actually let you down. You just simply won't be able to hit targets. Very much like as if you actually had French arty all the time, because <laughs> French arty is also a very flat trajectory. Well, he's having a look over onto the land side now, right over the east side of the map, and he fired one in, thinking he might be able to get that uh, enemy. I think it was a hawk, actually, we saw just briefly. I'm not sure if it was a hawk or it was an object 430. They don't look alike, but <laughs> I'm just wondering which one it is. Let's pull back a bit, so that's better. So we can see what's going on. That's better. Okay, go B-75. Direct hit this time. 240, non-penetrating shots. Heavy armor on the front of the E-75. Sort of the uh, big brother to the uh, Tiger II. Then Ficklund Sirius tanks. You see, he's had quite a lot of damage to the front of his vehicle. Looks like a lot of HE has been fired in his direction. And I think that shell actually hit the wreck behind him and splashed back onto him. But what's worse is there's an E-50 up on top of the cliff and I think Baseman just saw that and he's also aimed onto that E-50. He's hoping he might be able to get a shot on that guy. 
Oh, he does! 404 hit points from a direct hit. We can't actually see the E50 at the moment because he's not in battle assistant. He's just looking at it. Oh, and the target's gone. Kill went to our GW E100. Now, the other problem with the uh, Object 261 is its ammunition load. Only 20 rounds. Very low ammo capacity. Compared to some of the other Soviet RT, this is, well, diabolical, really, because it means you can run out of ammunition during a battle. In fact, if you ever go into a grand battle in the Object 261, you'll probably run out of ammo before the end and have to start running around either capping or spotting for your team. Oh, fantastic shot there, right into the side of the Panzerkampfwagen 7, and he's out the game. Got a Progetto with very low hit points on the beach. He would be a splash kill. Our standard B wants that one. He's trying to get into a position where he can shoot at the guy. Don't fall off the cliff. Okay, placement's going to do it. Yep, got the kill. That was a nice easy one. He's only got nine rounds left and you notice it's premium ammo which is going to cause him quite a lot in uh, costs towards the end of the game. <laughs> but it does have a much better, uh, um, it does do better on on uh, damage if I remember correctly. Not damage but um, splash radius. Sorry, that's me playing around trying to get the um, the cursor up. Yes, it's got a splash radius of 11 meters on uh, the premium rounds. Nice hit on the T95. So the normal, oh, kill goes to the E50M. Normal splash radius, as you know, is 10 meters, so 11 meters, just a one meter increase, but that's actually quite a large increase overall. There's only four enemies left, and we're watching the back jack, 155, 58. He's moving about quite a bit because he knows he's been seen, and now he's dead. Direct hit, took him out, went straight through that thin armor on the turret, and he's out the game. So that's the third kill for Baseman, his other batch at 155.58 was having a swim. And he's gone, which means now there's only two enemies left. Object 2684, the Bobject, and an AMX 1390, who's currently near the bowl in the centre of the map, attacking a Conway, and he dies to the Conway. That's the guy we ran into earlier. So it's just the object left to kill. Unfortunately, he's on the chine, the north chine, which means that it's very difficult for Baseman to get a shot on him. He's only got six rounds left anyway, so he's burned through most of his ammunition. Luckily, the T95's going up the beach for us, so if the object 2684 decides to come south and try and kill the arty, then uh, at least we're going to have somebody who'll be able to fend him off. And in fact, actually, the standard B went into the enemy cap, but just changed his mind. He announced to no cap kill all. kind of think the Object 2684 is actually waiting in ambush for one of our guys to turn up. Here they come. There he is. Yep, he is in ambush. Rounds out. Well, it was... Fairly close. You see the patch hats are firing once every 10 seconds. I wish they didn't improve that just slightly because um, once every 10 seconds isn't uh, realistic for an auto-loading arty. 
Base man's going to give it a go, another go. The standard B's above the uh, object. 264, Direct hit. 403. So that was worthwhile. Already up to 2.5k of actual damage. And he's getting some stun assist as well. Lots of stun assist. But unfortunately, we lost the standard B. I think he was a little too careless there. Now that 2684 is actually sitting on a leg. Rounds out. No, that didn't work. I think that's why he wasn't coming up down the beach towards us. Because he's sitting on that ledge, challenging everyone else to, to come at him. Okay, baseman's going to try and get into a position. Yeah, he's come down off the ledge and he's now just hiding around that corner. Baseman's going to try and land around, around that corner. Well, he gets another hit and makes the object now a one-shot. So he is going to go down now. There's no doubt about it. And there's the kill shot. Conway gets the kill that wins the game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Here's the end of battle results. It was a first class tanker for the base man from hell in the object 261. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He managed to get 13. And his win eight for the battle was 3,774, which is super unicum standard. So let's have a look at team score and see where he came. Well, he actually did get the highest damage in the game in that one. 3,341 hit points, followed by the T54 lightweight who got 2995. And after that, it was the object 2684. The object 2945 went to him. Is that 2 foot? I think it's 2946, actually. My eyesight seems to be letting me down. And uh, the highest number of kills was shared between Baseman in his object 261 and that Bobject. Both had three kills each, and there's a whole bunch of tanks with two kills. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's got the top in that one as well. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,052 base to the base man. In fact, he's the only one over 1,000. The next highest score being the T-54 lightweight with 971, followed by the Batch at 155.58 with 874, and he managed to get a Confederate in that game. Base man fired 18 rounds, so he only had two rounds left at the end of the game. Nine direct hits, one penetration, and 12 splash. Uh, I wonder which one did he actually penetrate in that game? Well, we can have a quick look because I always like to see if you do get a penetration. Ah, it was the Batch at 155.58. The shell must have gone straight through that turret because it is fairly thin armour and took out the vehicle completely. 3,341 hit points of damage, all of it done at more than 300 metres. Damaged seven of the enemy, killed three. Did 3,868 hit points of stun assist off 10 stuns. So that's a combined damage of over 7k. On a premium count, he earned 74,363 credits, got 37,181 from personal reserves, so a grand total of 111,544 credits. And after ammunition and consumables, he still took away a profit of 14,144 credits, even though he fired nothing but premium ammo throughout that game. He got 35 bonds in the game, and he also got 7 for this being a tier 10 vehicle, so he took away 42. And he earned 1,578 XP and there was no multipliers, so that's all the experience points he took away. He says, idiot clicker with three kills. I suppose that, well, he was called uh, uh, an idiot clicker, but he's not an idiot clicker because all players in the game are clickers. They all click their mouse. Um, but the fact of the matter is that uh, doing seven combined, 7.2K combined damage is, uh, is by no means, is, it's not easy. It's a very difficult feat indeed. So to get that sort of damage in this sort of battle, yeah, I think he's actually rather good. And you can tell that from the win eight and the fact that he got the top in all three columns. So I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm.
Thank you for watching.